Now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast with Carson Vicroy. Carson, kind of jealous. Everybody's been hanging out at the polls this morning. It looks like a beautiful fall day. Mm -hmm, yeah, maybe get yourself a lawn chair or something. Just sit out by the polls. I mean, maybe you vote and then you just sit outside or something because that's how gorgeous it is, Cynthia. Lots of sunshine out in the area right now. Of course, mostly sunny skies. Those will be continuing throughout the day. One thing that's going to change is notice out to our west, we continue to see some higher clouds stream in, but all in all, we are relatively clear across the area. Now these temperatures, they've been a little bit of a story this morning. It's been a chilly start to the day. We are in the 60s and 70s right now. 68 in Pittsburgh, 65 in Quitman. It's 65 at the Tyler Pounds Airport, and we are at 68 degrees right now in Canton, Texas. 68 in Gun Barrel City, 68 in Athens. It's 67 right now in Noonday. Across the board, we are in the 60s and 70s for the Cherokee County locations. It is 65 in Nacogdoches, 68 in Center, and a little further down to the south, we are generally in the upper 60s for Deep East Texas, including Zavala, which is at 69, but a degree cooler there in Hemp Hill right now. So well, let's talk about our temperatures on Futurecast. I'm not showing you this because there are rain chances in the forecast, but I'm showing you this just from a temperature standpoint. First off, I'm not going to rule out some clouds this evening. They certainly can't be ruled out. We've got temperatures in the 50s and 60s for the most part, just kind of depending on where you are. And then our temps plummet into the 50s by 7. So if you are still in line at the polls, this evening, you're going to want to remember those jackets because some of those lines will be out the door for those last minute voters. So make sure you have a couple of extra layers and a couple of extra layers are going to be necessary at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning because look at that. We're starting out in the 50s. And then as we head into tomorrow afternoon, about 5, 6 o'clock, we'll be in the 60s and 70s once again. And Thursday morning is going to follow suit as well, perhaps with a few more clouds. But I'm not ready to commit to that quite yet. So we will just have to see what the latest model data brings to us tomorrow. Today, we hit a high temperature of 73 degrees. So if you've already voted, if you took part in the early voting process, get outside and enjoy this. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Uh, lots of sunshine to go around, and we will Will be warmer, mostly clear for tonight. Lows falling into the 40s for the most part. It's going to be chilly tomorrow morning, so also remember those jackets. And again, just to reiterate, for the remainder of Election Day, we're going to be seeing those temperatures in the 70s through about 5 o'clock. By 5:30, though, I think we're going to be in the 60s, and then we're really going to fall off at 7 with 50s and 60s expected. Which is why I'm emphasizing this quite a bit. Have a jacket handy for you, especially with those temperatures that are going to be relatively chilly for this time of year. Now, low temperatures this morning. It was quite chilly. If you were out at the polls, you certainly felt it. We had 30s and 40s, but I want to point your attention to Linden. Yeah. We hit the freezing mark there and we're starting to get into that time of year where a freeze is not out of the question for these lighter blue areas right here. The freeze tends to occur now through November 15th, a little further down to the south. It's the second half of the month and then along the Texas Gulf Coast, it's usually in December or just a little bit later. Here's that seven day forecast 70s through Monday, about a 20% chance of a few showers next Monday. But again, rain chances relatively slim to none over the next several days and deep East Texas. Not much of a change for y'all 70s and 80s. Cynthia. Thank you, Carson. We'll check this.